Hi. Hello. Have you ever wondered how to safely lift your 6th Gen Camaro up in the air safely? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to cover how to install lift pads on a 6th Gen Camaro and uh, I'll make it as easy as I can for you. We'll have some video from under the car so you know exactly where to place them and uh, I'll show you some tips and tricks on how to get them set up properly so that you can safely lift the vehicle in the future. Hope you enjoy the video. When it comes to the lift pads, a lot of people ask, well, how do you initially get the car lifted to put the lift pads on? And the easy answer is using a pinch well adapter for your jack. Um, in this case, I have a ZL1 add-ons premium mag pad, which uh, includes the puck and the mag pad itself. Uh, this just slaps onto the pinch weld. That'll lift the side of the car up. And then from there, we can attach the lift points, both front and rear. There's a nice midpoint to lift the car from. So we're going to dive under here, take a peek where the lift or the pinch weld lift points are. You got three of them on the Camaro. You've got this forward one here. That's the front of the car that way. Then you have the midpoint pinch weld here. You can actually see it there. And then there's one way, way in the back, right about there. So what we do is we take this premium magnetic jack pad and line it up with the pinch weld. Just like that, we'll use our jack to lift the car from the middlemost point. And then once we have the jack lined up and you just start lifting, then once we have it high enough, the lift points will actually go here and on that way far one back there. So this is the rear of the vehicle. We're gonna start here. You'll see this little, uh, almost like a white retaining clip for the body panel. And then um, we've got this plastic uh, ridge almost. What you'll wanna do is take your lift point. You're gonna find that ridge. You're gonna line up the lift point right there, slide it forward, and then using the Allen key, actually tie that up and get it nice and tight here. That'll pinch it together and it'll be solid from there. You'll always be using the pinch well to lift the car or uh, you know whether you're using a lift or whether you're putting some flat top jack stands or regular jack stands on it that's going to be the solution that you want now if you have a secondary jack what you'll want to do is slide it up under the lift point and put some pressure on it with the jack otherwise if you don't have a secondary jack what you'll want to do is once you've got these on here tight, you'll want to use your existing jack to put pressure on these and then check the tightness of the retaining screws to make sure that the jack, uh, to make sure that the lift point doesn't move on you. Now that we've got the rears on, we're gonna move to the front. Again, this is the pinch weld that we're gonna be aiming for. We're gonna take that lift point and gonna kind of center it to the opening of this cutout here and make sure we tighten those Allen keys. One pro tip that I can give you is to start threading these Allen retaining nuts or Allen retaining screws. Get them about halfway in. It'll save you a lot of time when it comes to actually getting this onto the pinch weld. And just like we did for the rear, you're gonna wanna put pressure with another jack or put it on a jack stand and lower it to make sure it's all the way up there before you do your final tightening. There you have it. We've got the front 
lift point installed. We already have the rear lift point installed and I'm gonna save you guys the extra unneeded video minutes because spoiler alert, it's the same on the other side. There you have it. You can now use uh, a hydraulic lift on these front and rear. You can use these uh, jack stands. Uh, I suggest you pick up the pinch weld mag puck from ZL1 add-ons. And of course I'll have uh, links to everything in the description. There we go, all done. We have the car up on the jack stands on the lift pads that we just installed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you around for the next one.